Wir haben es heute geschafft, an einem Sonntag Herrn Steve Williams, den CEO von Passenex Resources, vor die Kamera zu bekommen. Wir wollten mal hören, wie es am letzten Freitag doch etwas abwärts gegangen ist mit der Aktie und mal hören, wie er dazu denkt. Uh, welcome, Steve. Uh, I just introduced you uh, to our audience in German. Um, and uh, as I said, uh, we, we'd like to hear your take on the uh, most recent um, price action on the TSX or on the, on the CSE uh, it is. Uh, can you tell us about that? Because, you know, it's a thin market, but still uh, the price dropped on Friday. Yes. yes. First of all, uh, good morning, Bjorn. I mean, it's good afternoon, I think, there in Germany. But good morning from here in Canada. And uh, thank you very much, actually, for uh, uh, enabling me to talk uh, to you and to the market. Obviously, um, yeah, we're concerned about the uh, the market uh, action and the, the share price going down, uh, particularly on Friday. And, uh, you know, really, I wanted to say that uh, I think it's... Um, fear. Uh, I think it's uh, um, not well based and um, and you know the, the people need to step back from that, step back from the fear and, and you know look at some of the basics and uh, you know I think the big thing I wanted to say is I still strongly believe that uh, Pasenix is, is, is in strong position. Actually I think I was thinking about this a little earlier. I think we are probably stronger now than I can think that we've ever been since we found the back in 2012 and uh, you know and, and as I look at our future I think our future is stronger now than it has ever been in in the life of the company so you know when I contrast that to what's going on with the share price I think I think what's going on in the share price is um, is not valid um, I think you know back on why do I say I think the company's strong First of all, we've got a very profitable mine. Panagazu is 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 great. It's making great profits. Um, you know, we put out quarter one results. Uh, we'll have quarter two results. Uh, quarter two finishes very shortly. We'll have quarter two results in August, and I think uh, I think it's still uh, you know probably going to be a, a solid quarter. Um, so we've got a profitable mine. Uh, we've got dividend from our 2017 profit. Uh, we're starting to get dividend uh, into um, Canada uh, to fund both our corporate overhead and our ongoing expiration. I'll talk a bit about that. So we got di dividend flowing, uh, and it is flowing um, as a result of our profit in 2017. So we don't, uh, you know, another you know point of our strength. You know, we haven't raised money in the market since we had some warrants, but we haven't done a private placement since um, 2000, mid 2016, I think now. Which uh, is a, a long time for an exploration. Yeah, I, well, I, I stand to be corrected on the dates, Bjorn, but you know, by memory, it's been quite a while, uh, and and that's because we're starting to get, you know, dividend cash flow coming from the operations in Turkey, and they are funding what we need. Um, Uh, and also, we have no debt. I mean, keep in mind, we built this mine without any debt. So, so that's pretty impressive, I think. I mean, I'm biased, but uh, that's pretty impressive from when we started in 2012. And then, you know, and I've tried to say this to the market, but I'll repeat it. It's that I'm very excited about our expiration upside. Um, you know, we've got a great producing mine. But the future is about expiration, and you know when when you're a company like us, it's all about expiration. And we've got two areas of focus: zinc, obviously. Um, the first one is in Turkey itself, and uh, we're particularly focused on the property just north of Penagazu, property called yeah. Akia. Yeah. yeah, and we will be, or we expect to be, drilling in the second half of this year. We've done a lot of work in the first half of this year. A lot of detailed mapping uh, and some supporting geological methodologies to to really hone in on where 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 the right targets are. So we we expect to be drilling in the second half of this year. And then Gunman, the, the property that we picked up in uh, Nevada, uh, zinc property in Nevada, um, uh, we're drilling right at the moment. We're drilling. Drilling is underway. We announced that we'll be drilling. Um, we will be finished drilling in Gunman. 
I don't know, two, three weeks. Uh, and then we should have the results into the market uh, late July, uh, thereabouts. Um, and, you know, I'm looking forward to that. I, we're very um, optimistic about, you know, gunmen. Uh, you know, we think there's there's more zinc to be found in southwestern USA, and we think that gunmen's potentially one of them. Um, you know, I mean, you only have to look at the news the other day about, you know, what went on with Arizona mining. and Yeah, the huge, I, was, I was going to ask about that. That was huge the news for the... yeah, huge uh, takeover of uh, Arizona mining by uh, South32, the Australian company. And, uh, you know, that clearly indicates the, uh, the opportunity uh, uh, the opportunity that exists in, in that area. So, you know, we're excited. I mean, we've got Arkea. And we've got, uh, you know, gunmen. And uh, so, you know, that's, um, you know, you know, back to where we started. Profitable mine, dividends flowing, uh, and in expiration upside. Um, you know, the, these, these are strong indicators. Mm -hmm. well, there let, is let fear. Just, yeah, choose, excuse me, just let me jump in with the question there because... Please, please. Um, well, Gunman is in Nevada, uh, but as we all know, uh, Pinarzu is in Turkey. Uh, do you yeah. think uh, situation in Turkey, uh, economic situation, political situation, uh, might uh, have an impact on the way people think about Pasenex? Yeah, um, you know, I, I was going to comment, and it, I'll answer your question, but I'll, I'll answer a little bit more if I may be on. Yeah, please. sure. Uh, I, I was going to comment on, you know. We, you know, we do have issues. I mean, there are concerns, uh, and uh, and you're touching on one of them. Um, um, but you know, again, when I reflect on that, and I'll, I'll come to your question in a second. But when I reflect on that, I, I reflect on the fact that I don't know any mining or mining company in the world that doesn't have issues and challenges. You know, mining is a uh, a difficult. I, believe me, I know it too well sometimes. Mining is a difficult game and and there are so many things we have to deal with that it's inevitable that somewhere, some, you know, some component of what you're doing is going to have some challenge. And, you know, we have a couple of those, there's no question, of which, you know, I, I recognize that there is concern uh, sometimes about Turkey. Some people are fine about Turkey. Uh, and other people, uh, you know, do have some concerns. Um, uh, Turkey's actually in elections today, and uh, yes. so obviously we'll be watching that with interest. But, um, you know, what I would say is that um, the big picture, and I think I've said this many times before, big picture, yes, there are some, some challenges there politically and economically. But Turkey is a big, strong country. I mean, I keep coming back to the basics here. Turkey is a big, strong country. It's the 15th largest economy in the world. Uh, and um, it's a young population. It's growing. Uh, it's growing predominantly on you know, construction and infrastructure, but it's growing. Uh, you know, and so taking the big picture, yes, there's some challenges. But yes, I really think that Turkey will work its way through these and will continue to be a strong a strong country in the future. The other issue we've got, um, and you know, I should talk about it, is there has been some concerns about, uh, you know, we and we've declared this in the MDNA and our financial results, is, you know, some concerns about uh, uh, some of the uh, debt that the uh, our partners have with the operating company. Yeah. And again, yes, there have been some issues there, uh, and there have been. Um, you know some some challenges that our partners been facing, but again, I'm here to say, you know, and I know, I believe me, I talk to them a lot, and we talk a lot about where they're at and what's going on. Um, I believe that uh, you know, in six months' time, uh, we'll be uh, in a different position here. Uh, they're working through their issues. Um, you know, I, I, there's some things that I can't say because they're a private company, uh, so I can't talk about you know, some details of them because they are a private company. But what I can say is that they're working through their issues. And and that, uh, that coming back to what I just said, I think in six months, by the end of the year, we'll be in a bit different position. So yes, there's, there's some issues. But yes, I really believe they're being worked through. And you know, nothing can be done overnight, right? Things take That's time. True. 
Uh, and, 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 you know, this is another one of those. But give it some time and go back to the basics of Pasternax and, you know, profitable mine, dividend, expert upside. Um, you know, look at that. And, and, and then, you know, that doesn't correspond with our week share price of Friday. Okay. Thank you. I Long think that was a very good closing remark, uh, unless you have to add uh, something, but uh, I, I guess that sums it up nicely. Uh, we because, uh, will be, of course, uh, looking uh, at the latest again in six months time to see uh, what progress has been made, but I'm sure we'll be talking before that. Thank you for taking the time, so. Steve. Thank you, Bjorn.